All right, I, I, I'm taking time to respond to Monique again. She made another greasy ass video with her daddy. Um, we kind of relitigating some of the stuff she said on Club Shay Shay, where she talked about how she was on the show and somebody, you know, they played a game, Would You Rather? And I guess she felt like they insulted her husband's sexuality, which is interesting because she can always talk shit about everybody else's sexuality. But I guess her husband's sex was like, he's off limit. But a hit dog will bark unless his mouth is full. But she talked about, well, she didn't actually call her lawyer. Who the fuck would be afraid of your lawyer? Your lawyer, you mean the lawyer that did your contract? The law, that lawyer, the lawyer from the firm of Negro, Negro, Negro from Ghetto, Got Him and Gone, that lawyer? Who the fuck afraid of him? He couldn't get your name right on a ticket. He gonna get it right on a, on a legal document. It didn't happen because we decided it shouldn't happen. We didn't, you didn't need to, because we respect people. We don't have to do things for, t for, for clicks. They took it off because you asked me to, because I respected you at the time. You also talked about how I um, disrespect you on so many platforms, uh, but you have yet, you have this impeccable memory where you can tell to the degree, well, who did what to you and why and what happened, where you were, but you can't pull up one time on any platform that I said anything about you at all because you know you're lying. You got that piece of paper and that big ass memory, but you can't pull one up. My biggest mistake is saying yes to you. I should have said no when you came on my, you couldn't come on my radio show. I should have said no that I wasn't playing those dates with you. As a matter of fact, I would, almost anybody who says yes to you at some point is, is, is in this mail you with you. Almost anybody. So I would suggest anybody out there, you can say yes to drugs, but say no to Monique. You talked about how um, you, my children, the families are off limits. They weren't when you were running across Vegas. I mean, on the stage in Detroit, they weren't when you talking shit on social media. When you got your ass whipped and your tickets dropped, then they became off limits. But let's do this. Let's decide that you will treat my children like you treat yours, like you don't know them, invisible, like you have no relationship with them, like you're estranged, you're, like you're unfamiliar, like you don't know them. You also intimated that I was a coward. You know what I'd never do? I would never let my woman take care of me. I would never let my woman get evicted from her apartment. I would never let my woman has to ask another man for money. I'd never do that. Can your old man say the same? He loves you. Of course, he got to say that. You claim him on your taxes. He's a dependent. He's sitting there with you right now. Uh-huh and everything. Because it ain't like he does anything else. But you never address the salient point. I said that if you spent as much time writing your Netflix special... As you did arguing about getting it, it wouldn't have been trash. It was. I didn't say it. I defy anybody out there. Stop listening to me. Watch it. Read the reviews. Read the reviews. You begged for something. You made valid points that women are underpaid. That they're not valued. That's absolutely right. So you would think that when you got a chance to do something that you would argue for, you'd be up for the challenge, but you shit the bed because you never are ready for it because all you ever do is complain about what you don't have. You're never ready for the moment because you're always living in the past. I said it. You, if you spend half of your time doing, as opposed to talking about who didn't do for you and what they did for you, you'd be a lot further along. You wouldn't be evicted. You wouldn't be working for your man. You wouldn't be asking other comics for money. So you got all the ingredients. Take that piece of paper that you're running down the list with and that pen that you got and that daddy six next to you, daddy sitting next to you and do what you can't do. Do what you never do. Write a fucking joke. No cap media productions. <laughs>